Hey everybody, so today I'm going to be doing a, a quick video on five different tips for getting good grades in college and just study tips, stuff like that, that I feel like I've acquired and kind of mastered um, in my two years here at college so far. So I know I'm going to ramble later on in the video, so let's go ahead and just get started. So my first tip is to be on top of your ish, and by that I mean having calendars or to-do lists or sticky notes or whatever you use to stay organized, just using that constantly. So for me, I have uh, an Apple calendar, and I'll try to insert screenshots of this. So for my personal calendar, I think I have like six categories. I have class, class activities slash like Elon activities, which is my college if you guys didn't know that. I have a nonprofit that I work for is a certain one. I have YouTube as a certain one, regular work as a certain color, and then just personal events is another color. And that works really, really well for me. It helps me see like how much time is being dedicated to what each week. So I can see if I haven't done enough or like if everything's red, like I really haven't done enough schoolwork because school work's normally purple and things like that. It just really helps me balance my life. It's and I think that, cool. Um, it just really helps me balance my life and I think that that's really great. I also really like using sticky notes on my computer and like tangible sticky notes. The way I use it is the sticky note on my computer has all of my classes listed out and then I write the homework that's due underneath it. And then the sticky note on my desk kind of has like a whirlwind of everything that I need to do in like a 24 hour period essentially. Whereas my computer sticky note is normally anywhere from like what's due in a week to like the rest of the semester. Like I have a note on there right now for what I need to do for spring break um, and just like things like that. So I, that works really, really well for me, but I think having some sort of system that works really well for you will really help you stay on top of your college work and your homework projects, anything like that. My next tip is to use Google Drive for all of your homework assignments, storing all of your notes, everything like that. I have a very organized Google Drive system. I have it broken down into different folders of my different years here, and then it goes into semester and then classes and then from there. And I think it is so much easier to have everything in one drive. It's all backed up kind of no matter where you are because my computer actually got wiped twice last year, I think. And if my papers and my assignments weren't on Google Drive, I wouldn't have been able to turn them in just because like I had to leave my computer at the Apple Store and obviously nobody plans for their computer to get wiped. Um, and I think it's so great for group projects and also it saves a lot of storage on your computer because you don't have like mindless things floating around and it helps keep like your desktop clean and everything like that. I am such a fan of Google Drive. They also have like Google Slides, Google Excel. Um, I think it's called Google Sheets and they're all such good programs and they're free, which is really, really nice. So my next tip is to install Grammarly. So if you don't know what Grammarly is, it's essentially a plugin. I have mine installed on my Google Chrome application and it's just a little icon in the corner and it lights up green um, when you're typing things and it'll automatically pop up and kind of fix your spelling. You've probably seen the commercials for it, but it is so cool. I don't know why I waited so long to install it. I installed it a couple months ago for the first time after seeing like all my friends use it. I've had professors recommend it to me. So essentially it's a plugin on your computer and it pops up with grammar tips and spelling errors. It's like spell check on another level and 10 times better than spell check essentially. Um, so the free version has like a ton of different grammar and spelling errors like already kind of built into it to correct. But then the premium version has all of the like critical errors and it will pick up if you've used past tense and then present tense in the same paragraph, which is something that I do a lot, which I didn't realize until getting Grammarly Premium. Um, so I've definitely been working on that, but I love Grammarly, could not live without it. I will have a link here and in the first line of the description box to sign up if you want to download it. Like I said, it's free um, for the regular subscription and it's made such a difference in my life. So my next tip is to not study in bed slash have a designated study space. I used to do homework in bed all the time in high school and I had such bad sleep issues. I would not go to bed until like 4 or 5 a.m. some days and I like didn't really ever know why and I don't think that that was 100% correlated to it, um, but I read this study that was saying if you're doing work in bed and like actively doing things in bed instead of just using it for rest, 
then your body doesn't know to like automatically start shutting down essentially at the end of the day in bed so when I came to college I tried to implement that into my routine and it honestly made such a big difference for me personally um, I try not to use my bed unless if I'm resting or just like hanging out and watching Netflix but I try not to do any like physical work in my bed um, and I feel like that makes a really big difference. So some study spaces that I really like are just like my common room There's just like empty classrooms at the end of the day I love working in coffee shops and things like that things that just kind of spark creativity and not rest if that makes sense And my last tip is to utilize your school's resources Utilize your professors utilize any study rooms any office hours It is so much easier to succeed in a class when the teachers on your side Not that they'll grade you any differently or they'll give you a certain advantage per se but if you're having issues, it is so much easier to go into a professor that knows you and just be like, hey, I'm really struggling. Could you re-explain this to me? Or maybe would you be willing to explain this in a different way? I'm just not grasping this or I'm having trouble writing this. Can you proofread it for me? Um, and professors are so much nicer and they're really cool people. They're hired for a reason. They normally have really, really great experience. So it's good just to connect and learn from them anyway. So I know this is a little different for me because I go to a small school and it's very easy. All my professors know my name already and it's easy to approach them. But if you go to a really big school, I think even just introducing yourself like the first day or saying thank you as you leave. Um, I mean, you should do that at any size school, but just being personable to your professors and being very real with them, not kind of giving them bullshit like they can see through it, you know, I think makes a really big difference and they'll be much more willing to work with you and help you if you need an extension or a deadline or you just need somebody to re-explain something to you. So those are actually all five of my tips for getting good grades in college. Hopefully these helped you guys. If you have any more or any of your own tips, please leave them in the comments down below. I would love to read them. And also let me know if you guys liked this video by giving it a thumbs up. I kind of want to continue this series of like five tips for college for eating healthy or saving money. I kind of already did something with a cozy dorm, but just like topics among that line. And yeah, so I'm going to stop rambling. I will have everything kind of mentioned in this video linked below, especially Grammarly. And I will talk to you guys next time.